Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this video I'm gonna show you as per title of how to take data from one repeater and put it into another repeater. We're gonna use a, a little bit of existing knowledge you acquire from watching my videos from before about repeaters or your you know, previously acquired knowledge but you're definitely gonna need to know how to use repeaters and how to set them up and you know how to use data sets. I'm gonna give you some hints, but if you're not sure, go back into the playlist for this actual Noob to Master series and please watch every repeater video you can get your hands on. And especially if you watch it in chronological order, you're gonna understand it much better and you're gonna pick this up really quickly because it's definitely just slight step up from what you already should know. And now, what I'm gonna try to achieve in this demo, I'm gonna have this repeater data set, which you might recognize from my previous video, where it's almost like, you know, it allows you to sort, it allows you to filter different bits, it's sort of functional, and now I added the promote button. Imagine a fictitious scenario where we have this list with one data set, so that's repeater one with employee list, and then we have repeater two, where we can basically, if I click on a button, it should add uh, people to promote, and it's gonna be one repeater, two repeaters. So we're gonna communicate between the two repeaters and pass the information, right? So, and my actual file looks like this. I have a few panels which are invisible, which is to add employee, to filter, to sort, but behind it, as you can see, I have this repeater, which is called employee list. And I also have this repeater, which is because there is nothing defined yet. I have Peter Johnson uh, called to promote, let's call it list, right? So it's two repeaters, one and two. As you can see, one has a lot of different data, which I want, want to pass based on those buttons. And then the second one is empty. However, the caveat here is that if you see the columns in the data set are defined name, role, team, and ID. And here I have the same name, da da da. But perhaps I can just add a bit of uh, identifier so we don't get confused as I explained. It would be clear otherwise. I'm just gonna add promo to all of us. So it's gonna be C, row, promo, promo. So we know which repeater it is, even if you know it might be clear to some, to some might not. So let's avoid that. And as you can see, we have nothing and I have just a note none added behind it uh, because if I have nothing in the repeater, it's just gonna be invisible and my prototype is gonna be looked li like this. So it's easy, we just overlay it like an onion. Let's go ahead and start transferring bit by bit. Let me just go into my repeater data set and that first one, you're gonna see that there is a button to promote. Um, let me give it a name as a good practice promotion BTN. And we're gonna shortlist this lucky employee to be promoted this year. I'm gonna add a new interaction as usual because this is how we start, always with a trigger. And so, how should we do this? Well, first and foremost, let's create the cosmetical ability to do so. And meaning, let's create a dynamic panel out of this button. Um, so we have two states, let's say clicked and non-clicked. And specifically because I'm gonna change the name in it. I kind of want to just disable it a little bit. So in a state one, we're going to have promote and state two, I'm just going to duplicate. And there we're going to say, let's say enlisted or something like that. And we can also make it a bit faded. Again, it's up to you how deep you want to go with this, but I'm just going to do like this. So it's kind of like it's, you know, you can't do anything about it like so. And as you can see by default, it's promote. But now every time I click on it, I'm going to add that state, that on click, set panel state, and then state two, and then OK. And then it's going to shift that button state. And let's preview really quick. That's a minor detail, but it's quite important for the end user experience. So if I enlist it, it's done, but it doesn't yet transfer the data into next repeater. But since we defined all the templating, the next bit, which is quite important, is to on click in that state one for that button to add another action. And it's really easy to do. It's not advanced by all means, as long as you know what repeaters are and how it works and functions and all that. But all you need to do is just scroll down to repeater actions and select add rows because all we're going to do is add rows to the next repeater. So what we need to select is the next target, which is our to promote list rather than source, we need to select target. 
And here we all we need to do is just add rows. Now, you could be confused exactly what this means because I could maybe add some values here. However, what we need to do is employ a functions. If you remember, functions allow us to dynamically grab data from different sources and push data in. And so I'm going to select function for the promo name. And as you, if you remember, this is our repeater number two column promo. And then the same for role, team, employee ID, and so forth. And so I'm going to go into functions. And functions is really easy to work with because here I can be like insert variable or function. And as you can see, I have predefined already C name and that's the source of the first repeater. So I'm going to just select it and leave it as that. And then do the same for role as well. Boom. And do the same for team as well. Boom. And lastly, I'm going to do it for employee ID as well, like so. Boom. And so now I have all those fields defined from our source into the next repeater down there and click OK. Since we have done our button here and it's clickable, let's preview and see exactly what happens. If I click promote, boom, it unlisted and it also disabled the button so I cannot click on it again. If I click again, it unlisted George Grant and let's enlist myself as well. Why not? Why the hell? Let's get promoted this year, eh? Boom. It, as you can see, I just enlisted myself for promotion. And let's do that as well, the Sid as well guy. Boom, so all of these people are now up for a promotion. However, one last bit is how to remove that information. Because if you're gonna go back to your prototype and to your repeater, you're gonna notice that information is not held. Even if you refresh the page, it's still gonna be there. If you wanna retain that information, so it's always there, even if you refresh it until you close the browser, you would need to employ the variable. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you have to go back a little bit and understand exactly how global variables work so you can actually retain you know, the information on the page in your prototype as long as, because chances are you might need to also so go to the next page and grab all these uh, information bits to the next page, right? But it's up to you. You can go explore, experiment with it again, try to understand how it works and try to make it happen. If not, I might make a video in the future. But for now, let's just finish off by disabling these bits and just deleting them. You could go simply as just go in and with this X bit, you could say hide this repeater on click so but that would just hide all of the items or you could simply say new interaction on click um, go back to repeater actions if you remember there's going to be things like update rows delete rows and what we really want to do is delete rows so i'm going to go ahead delete rows select our so our target which is promotion list and just do nothing but leave it with this you could also add the rule if you want to exactly which ones you want to delete so let's say maybe i'm gonna delete those who have uh item i think it was c team if i defined it like that equals let's say engineering nearing and that would be a syntax to then remove every item in this new list who have engineering in their teams but we don't really want doing that. We just wanted to remove that specific item. Click OK, preview, and let's see exactly what happens. So we would promote multiple people and then we would just demote them. Now, as you can see, the buttons are not updated. If to do that, you would need to again employ variables or actually push the information back from this repeater to to a previous repeater, but I'm going to leave that to you. Again, variables is what you can do to actually make an in-depth prototypes. So I would recommend you to experiment with them because it's going to be really useful for you to go forward and then dig deeper into your specific prototype. But this is the basics of how you would add certain items from one repeater to the other and then how you can manage that data back and forth. So as usual, I hope this video was useful. Leave a like, uh, subscribe to his channel, share with your friend if they're into UX, um, product design prototyping on any other design related matters to do with action and prototyping in high fidelity. And as per usual, I'll see you next time.